Hi, my name is Gordon Spowage. I'm one of the technical officers for Home Energy Scotland uh, and I'm here to talk today about the Home Renewables Advice Service which is on offer from Home Energy Scotland across the country. Um, I'm going to talk today a bit about um, renewable technologies, what they are, um, we're going to talk about some of the tools that are available, some of the considerations you might want to think about before installing and some of the support that is available to, uh, to help you with this. Home Energy Scotland is a free and impartial advice service. Um, the technical officers and renewable specialists um, offer home visits, which is a free service, but it's worth pointing out uh, due to coronavirus at this point that um, it will be localised depending on where you live as to whether or not that service is currently up and running. So I would encourage you to call into your local advice centre on 0808 808 2282 for more information on that. So when we talk about renewable technologies, um, we're generally splitting them into two different topics. We're looking at technologies that generate heat and we're looking at technologies that generate electricity. Heat generating technologies would include uh, heat pumps. Um, now most commonly we're talking about air source and ground source heat pumps, but water source heat pumps are also an option. Uh, we talk about biomass boilers and we talk about solar thermal when it comes to generating heat. Electricity generating devices um, are again most commonly solar photovoltaic panels or solar PV um, but we do also provide advice and support on uh, wind and water based electricity generation. So the next question to ask yourself is what would be the most suitable type of technology to install? What is it you're actually looking to do? Um, and there's a few kind of key points that you might want to consider um, when making this decision. First of all, what is your lifestyle like? Uh, how do you live your life? When do you use the home? These types of questions are very important. What physical space is there that's available? Um, do you have space to store certain things? Do you have uh, a big enough roof space for a solar panel array, for example? We need to think about the fabric of the home as well, particularly for renewable heat and how the insulation level is. A better insulated home is going to perform better with any heating system, but that's uh, emphasised somewhat with renewable heat. And what access is there to your home? So for example, if need be, could, for, could perhaps a large lorry come up a, a driveway or a, or a farm track to access your property to, to deliver materials? So, so these are some of the key points that you would want to consider and these are points that we would go over with you on an initial consultation. On the back of one of our home visits, uh, your advisor will carry out a home energy improvements report that will look a bit like this. Um, this is a report that uses um, bespoke software um, to calculate what the situation is in your current property and also allow us to run different scenarios and model improvements that could be made. So for example, if you had an old farmhouse with an oil boiler, we would uh, calculate what the impact of that particular setup was and then we could override, say, uh, an air source heat pump, for example, over the top of that. The software will use the information to generate an easy to read report. That report will provide some cost and carbon saving estimates, some install cost estimates and information on additional financial support. For example, smart export guarantee, renewable heat incentive and any interest free loans that might be in place. In this example, we have a situation where a house is heated by electric heating. So it could be storage heaters or maybe some sort of electric convector heaters. The advisor has recommended two main technologies, air source heat pump and solar PV, which could potentially improve the energy efficiency of this property. And in the third screen there, you can see the impact of uh, the air source heat pump would have if it were installed. It gives some indicative figures um, to help you make an informed decision on what to do next. In the event of us not being able to visit your home, we are able to support online and remotely. The Home Renewable Selector tool is a, a piece of software designed by the Energy Saving Trust which allows us to provide similar information as the Home Energy Improvements Report but maybe with a slightly less detail. What it does allow you to do, and either you can do it yourself on your own computer or we can do it with you over the phone, is you can enter some basic parameters of your property and either you can if you're not 100% sure what it is you're looking to do, you can select the box that, um, that invites you to, to look at all options. Or if you do have an idea of what you're looking to do, you can tick the box either saying electricity generating or heat generating, whatever it is you're looking to do. Um, it will then allow you to enter some parameters. So as you can see, this example shows that you can 
um, adjust the orientation of your roof, so whether it's south, a little southeast, southwest perhaps, and that will amend the figures accordingly in the software's output. Once you've entered all your data into the software, it will then provide you with a report which you can download, um, again giving you cost and carbon savings, um, which would be the impact of installing those measures. This report can be used to access the funding, as can the Home Energy Improvements report. They can both be used uh, as uh, supporting documents for a Home Energy Scotland loan application. Another very useful resource on the Energy Saving Trust's website is the Green Homes Network. This is a database of customers who have already installed some of these measures before. So it may be that you've got some thoughts, you've maybe even spoken to us and you're still maybe having a think about it. For example, you're thinking about an air source heat pump, you're not 100% sure what that might sound like, for example. So this would give you an opportunity to find somebody who's done that already. Um, and they will either allow you to read a case study, perhaps a phone call, or maybe even carry out a visit to their home and physically see that system in operation. Also on the Energy Saving Trust website is a very useful tool called the Renewable Installer Finder tool. This is a database of MCS certified installers. Now MCS is the certification level that the installers will need to uh, be able for, for you to be able to use the interest-free loan and also um, to enter schemes such as the Renewable Heat Incentive. It allows you to enter your postcode, select the type of technology you're looking to install and provide a radius, and it will provide you with a list of MCS certified installers near you. So I've mentioned a couple of these already, um, but what we're going to talk about now is how the financial support will work. Um, there's three main topics to cover here. Firstly, the Home Energy Scotland Loan, the Smart Export Guarantee, and the Domestic Renewable Heat Incentive. So firstly, the Home Energy Scotland loan is an interest-free loan which is provided by the Scottish Government and it allows a homeowner to borrow up to £38,500 per property for various different types of upgrades. Now it's worth noting that this can be used for fabric improvements such as insulation measures, double glazing for example. Um, we're concentrating on renewables today so as you can see, the two I've picked out um, are renewable heating, so whether that's air source, ground source, biomass, you can borrow up to £10,000 interest free towards the cost of those. And solar technologies, whether it's solar PV or solar thermal, you can borrow up to £5,000 towards those measures. Now, you can use this loan for up to two technologies, one electricity generating and one heat generating, and the loan can also be used for energy storage as well. If you're building a self-build property, it is worth pointing out that a loan is still available for you. This is not simply a loan for existing properties. If you are building a self-build, then all your insulation measures will be part of the building regulations. But when it comes to how you heat that home and whether or not you want to generate electricity and store electricity, perhaps, then the loan is absolutely available for you too. As you can see from this grid, um, it just details some of the measures that are available through the Home Energy Scotland loan, specifically the renewables ones. There's a maximum amount you can borrow for each individual measure, as you can see listed here, and as I just described in the previous slide. Um, as you'll see, like I said, heat pumps, £10,000, and solar panels, £5,000, are probably the two most common, but your options are open for uh, pretty much anything else you'd like to consider. So the second scheme I'd like to talk about is the Smart Export Guarantee. Um, this is a scheme which lets you sell your excess electricity back to an energy supplier of your choice. There used to be a scheme called the feed-in tariff, which has been um, now closed to new applicants for a while now, and in its place has come this scheme. It is slightly different from the feed-in tariff in the sense that it is up to the, the, the owner, the homeowner, to uh, have a look at different options that might be out there, different tariffs, that companies are offering, but ultimately all the big energy companies will be offering at least one tariff on the Smart Export Guarantee and you can shop around for them much in the same way as you shop around from who to buy from. This slide shows a graph from the Solar Trades Association's website. Um, the STA have taken it upon themselves to monitor the movements in the Smart Export Guarantee and they offer this page which is a, effectively a league table uh, of the various tariffs that are in play at any given time. So if you have a look at that, you'll see what the tariffs are and it'll uh, help you make a choice as to which way to go. 
And the third uh, financial scheme I'd like to tell you about is the Renewable Heat Incentive. Now, you, there is a commercial version of this, which is not to be confused with the domestic Renewable Heat Incentive, which we're talking about today. What this scheme is, is it is attached to uh, low carbon heat technologies, such as heat pumps, biomass boilers, and solar thermal panels. And in essence, what you're doing is you're being paid a unit of uh, money for every unit of heat you generate. Now, it's worth pointing out that there is a bit more of a complex formula behind it than that, but in essence, that is, that is the kind of crux of it. It's a scheme which is designed to help with the capital cost of installing what are quite expensive measures in the first place, uh, and it is paid in quarterly payments over a seven year period. On the UK government website, you'll find an RHI calculator. Now it's not an exact science, but it will give you a, a rough idea as to what you might expect back, uh, depending on what technology it is that you are going to install. As you can see here, the amounts you would get back vary depending on what type of technology it is you install. So it's maybe worth having a look at two or three different options to make sure you pick the right one for you. So in conclusion, there is quite a lot of support out there if you're looking to install renewable technologies. It doesn't matter if you're looking to retrofit an existing building, if you're building an extension to join on to an existing building, or if you're building something from scratch. The support for renewable technologies is there for you. It comes in the form of advice, it comes in the form of reports, and it comes in the form of funding. And you can find that support at Home Energy Scotland. Please give us a call on 0808 808 2282 or visit our website at www.homeenergyscotland.org for more information.